Good morning, kids. It's time for Tuesday Morning with Pastor Pappy. We're going to learn about his love today and the victory we have because of Jesus. We're going to learn directly from the Bible. But before we dive into the Bible story, Pastor Pappy wants to pray for you. Lord, I thank you for the special time I get to have with these very special young believers. Thank you that we will have this special relationship forever and ever because you defeated death. Amen. You know what time it is? Say it with me. Challenge accepted. Welcome back, everyone. I am called by the amazing name of Dash. And I am called by the amazing name of Austin. And this show is called by the amazing name of Challenge Accepted. Hey, man, what are these bags here for? I don't know. I didn't notice them until just now, but you didn't bring them here, did you? No, I I've been here the whole time. Hmm. How could we miss this? There's only like eight seconds in our intro video. Hmm. It was probably eight second delivery or something. Let's see what's inside. No, 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 Austin, wait! It could be a trap. A trap? No way, man. It must be some kind of treasure. How do you know that for sure? People only express ship good stuff. Trust me. Let's <sighs> let's see here. Oh. See, I told you it was treasure! How in the world will marshmallows be a trap? Are you kidding me? It's totally a trap. Here you are thinking you're just eating one, then you're trapped into eating 12 bags. I think you mean trick. No, it's a trap. Hey, but you got a pretty cool treasure though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Wait, I wonder if that has to do with our challenge for today. Let's take a look. Today's challenge is called Factoid of Fictitious. For this challenge, each of you will tell two true facts about yourself and one fake fact. Guess which one is fake, and you get to shoot a marshmallow at the other person. If you're wrong, they get to shoot one at your face. Wait, this sounds like we're pitted against each other. The best kind of challenge. Factoid of Fictitious, challenge, challenge accepted. accepted. Okay, you ready for round one? <laughs> Let's do it. I've got a pretty good feeling about this one. All righty, all righty, all right. Here are my fun facts. Number one, my favorite food is chicken fettuccine alfredo. Number two, my name is Austin. And number three, I've been to the moon. Austin, you're gonna have to try a little bit harder than that to blend in your false fact. There's no way you've been to the moon. Man, I thought I could get away with it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. The best way to learn from your mistakes is getting a marshmallow flung at your face. Wait, what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> How could something so small pack such a punch? Bro, did you eat a marshmallow? Ah. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, your turn. <sighs> okay, number one. I can do a handstand for 30 seconds. Okay. Number two, I had a pet iguana named Ricky um, when I was six. And number three, I host a show called Challenge Accepted. There's no way you had an iguana named Ricky growing up. I don't believe it. How did you get it right? <sighs> His name was Richie, not Ricky. How'd you know? Wait, you actually had a pet named Ricky? Okay, my street, my turn. Mm, that was actually a pretty good shot, Austin. Huh? Yes! <gasps> Thanks. Okay, now it's my turn again. Um, Dash, what are you doing? How many of those have you had? Um, that was my first one. Okay, now that's fictitious. Pay attention, these ones are good. Number one, my favorite fruit is pineapple. Number two, I've never been skydiving. And number three, I once tamed a wild elephant and kept it as a faithful friend for six years. Austin, you're supposed to make it hard to tell which one isn't the truth. I've known you for a really long time and you've never told me about an elephant, but it's okay. That's just truly unbelievable. Now, you know, there are some parts in our Bible story today that are pretty unbelievable. Maybe even more than me having a pet elephant, but they're true. <sighs> I can't wait to hear about it. But in the meantime, take cover! Take the two rows right now! This is not okay! I like marshmallows but I wouldn't want one thrown in my face. Let's see if we can figure out how that relates to our Bible story today. Being a Christian is very special because our Savior Jesus died for us even though we didn't deserve it. He didn't stop there. Jesus defeated death and came back to life. This is part two of our story. Last week, we were in Luke 23 and discovered 
that Jesus was crucified or nailed to a cross between two criminals. Then he died. Many people who saw Jesus' death were shocked. People realized there was something different about Jesus. After Jesus died, they took his body and put it in a tomb. A man named Joseph donated his tomb for Jesus' body. The Romans rolled a big, big old stone in front of the tomb's opening and they posted guards at the tomb so no one would steal the body. Because of the time of day when Jesus died, the disciples didn't have time to properly prepare his body for burial before the Sabbath, their day of rest. Jesus' followers were following all the Sabbath rules and they couldn't do any kind of work. Today we're reading from Luke 24. Luke is the third book in the New Testament. But very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb taking the spices they had prepared. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance, so they went in. But they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them clothed in dazzling robes. So what had happened? The rock was moved, the women looked inside, but Jesus' body was gone. Can you imagine the emotions they must have been feeling? They wanted to know what was going on. And then the two angels appeared. Let's read what the angels said to them. The women were terrified and they bowed with their faces to the ground. Then the men asked, why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here, he is risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day. The Bible says the women were terrified. They fell to the ground. Jesus was alive. He defeated death, and the first people to know about it were these women who had followed Jesus. The angels reminded them that Jesus had predicted that he would be betrayed and crucified. They also reminded the women that Jesus had said he would come back to life. Suddenly they remembered and realized in that moment that Jesus defeated death. The women hurried back to the disciples. They, they told the people the good news that Jesus was alive. And when the disciples heard the report from the women, they couldn't believe it. Peter ran back to the tomb to see for himself. He looked inside and do you know what Peter found? Jesus defeated death. The tomb was empty and Jesus was alive. So what about those marshmallows? Well, this challenge got a little off hand. You can say that again. Well, this challenge no, 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 got a little Austin, off Austin, hand. The, that's not what I meant. Uh, oh. I just meant that this was... Too Way too many, many marshmallows. Marshmallows. You're probably gonna get a cavity, you know. Uh, you know I've actually never had a cavity. No way. After what I saw today, that has to be fictitious. In a strange way, your lack of cavities and how shocking that is reminds me of our Bible story today. I can totally see that. You know, Jesus gave up his life for us. Like, he actually died. Mm -hmm. And there was no life left in him. But no matter how crazy it might sound, he defeated death and came back to life. That's spot on, Dash. And that's the main point we have for today. Jesus defeated death. Sometimes the fact that Jesus died and came back to life is really hard for us to wrap our minds around. And honestly, there are many people out there who would say that it's fiction, which means it's made up and not true. But we know God's word is always true and he is trustworthy. And what's even better is because Jesus truly defeated death, we have a chance to live with him one day forever. Here's our challenge for you. Thank Jesus. Sounds pretty simple, right? It's because it is but it's also a very, very important thing to do. Take some time this week, even if it's just five minutes, to pause and thank Jesus for the fact that he defeated death. Because he did that, we get to live with him. So thank him for that life that you have and for the life that'll come later in heaven. And now, it is time we must bring this to a close. We will see all of your lovely places next time on... Challenge Accepted! Challenge accepted. <laughs>